The Block by Block initiative in Johannesburg focused on using Minecraft video game as a critical participatory tool to involve residents, including children, students, and the itinerant in the design of public spaces. The goal of the initiative was to use Minecraft methodology in a number of public spaces in different parts of the city, in the inner city, Bramfontein, and Dipslut. The park in the inner city is called Anne Street North Park. It was blighted by vandalism, illegal waste dumping, homelessness, and elevated crime levels, among other things. The objective was to ensure that the park was co-designed and responded to the unique needs of the diverse users. Thanks to the support of Inhabitat Global Public Space Program, the Chimololong Precinct, GIZ Inclusive Violence and Crime Prevention Program, Professor Peter Gorsh and Sticky Collaborators. The initiative involved training city practitioners, residents, school children, neighboring stakeholders, including those experiencing homelessness, to use and play with Minecraft to design their own vision of what facilities and activities they would like to have in the park. Minecraft is an accessible and effective tool to enable people with no architectural or design training to come up very quickly with design ideas on how to improve urban spaces. The ideas from the Anne Street North Park workshop were varied and focused on improving safe access across the busy Nugget Street and they included upgrades to benches and street lighting, construction of toilets with information walls about jobs and training opportunities, upgrades of playgrounds and an outdoor gym. The design was then translated into a physical upgrade of the park. The city of Johannesburg is currently embedding Minecraft and broader participatory design processes into other public space projects. In Bramfontein, the Block by Block initiative partnered with Ericsson, who helped us to put Minecraft designs into a mixed reality environment. Mixed reality is basically a way to display digital objects in a real world. It allowed the users to see the public space in 3D. People could then go outside and using special smartphones with 3D sensors, view their designs in real life. They could walk around the digital objects on the streets as if they were physically present. The Block by Block initiative also encourages translating the visual designs in Minecraft to temporary physical designs through the practice of tactical urbanism. In the case of Bramfontein and Deep Slot, tactical urbanism interventions had additional benefits of bringing partners together to activate public spaces and reimagining what the spaces can be. The tactical urbanism has inspired the resulting social networks to work together to improve the urban spaces. This has extended to informing budgeting and future capital interventions within the city of Johannesburg. The engagements with the community have contributed positively towards conceptualizing and reimagining what kind of spaces they want and the function the spaces will serve. In the case of Anne Street North Park, the designs of the park upgrades are one of the products that have come out of the community engagement process, particularly through the Minecraft workshops. Direct changes included physical designs that are aligned to the needs of the users. This also includes conducting activities in the park to ensure that the park is used effectively. In all the public spaces where we use Minecraft, it has proved to be powerful in encouraging participation of all, including vulnerable groups. It has a huge potential for urban planning, urban design and architecture in terms of reimagining African cities. It is a fantastic way to engage the community 
and a fun way to include children and young people in urban design or in city making.